What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I want to talk about Something that for many of us as African-American men and black men don't want to discuss. And that is a whole issue of heartbreak. All right. You know, we don't mind talking about, you know, playing chicks and we had her doing this for us and had us doing that for us. But many of us don't want to talk about that we've all had our heart broken. You know, we've all been let down by a woman. We've all cared about a woman very much. And and, in some cases, you know, some brothers could have fallen into a deep depression. But I want every guy that has been through this to press one in the comments when when I go through this last thing. If you've ever been in love with a woman and was sad to see her go, but it was a great thing that her ass left. I want you to go in the comment section and press one. And I want to go and like all of those comments because when you look back at it now, look at where you at now and look at where she's at. Don't admit, ain't you glad that it, that it didn't work out? Because had she kept you around, that would have been you on that train wreck. That would have been you sticking around dealing with them sandals. That would have been you sticking around once she gained 75 pounds. That would have been you. But thank, like my grandma used to say, church music, thank God for Jesus. That he set your ass free. Amen, hallelujah. And this is no case with the dude, Nico Kale. All right, now he's a young simp. He was used and abused by Keisha Cole, a lady who was much older than him, played with his mind. He was only 24 and she was like 47. All of that, right? Now, brothers, what ended up happening with her is she got with him after she hit the wall and couldn't get nobody else. And he's a young simp, a mama's boy, can't take care of herself a sucker, and I'm just being nice. He's wet behind the ears, right? And that's what happens with a lot of times where, you know, some sisters have some success. They can't deal with the young Jeezys of the world no more. She can't deal with the Daniel Gibsons of the world no more. So what she does is she goes down in value to get a young simp who don't know no better, that haven't listened to the manosphere, haven't listened to Uncle O'Shea, and all of a sudden, you get this guy, right? This is what happens. Now, once this happens, brothers, once this happens, brother, this happens. Now you're in love because you don't have no experience. And now that they have broken up, this dude is heartbroken. Okay? He's over here talking about sad music. My heart is broken. My mind is open. My time's approaching. <sighs> and then you have this, this chick in the background. Steak music. You and Keisha both trying to pretend that y'all don't still love each other. Fix it. Shit happens. We ain't perfect. We just go mess up. I'm tired of seeing these micro reflections in Black Love Wins. Fix it, Nita, uh, Nico. Got love for you both. This works life. She, she's an idiot. Let me tell you why. This relationship was doomed to end before it started. And see, what a lot of you guys don't understand is it's not your fault. Keisha Cole can't keep nobody. You see? Keisha Cole can't keep anybody. Anybody. 
There is nothing that she can do. She's broken up with everybody that she's been with, single mom twice over. And a young man like Nico Kale with his life is ahead of him is heartbroken over somebody that's 38 years old. 12 years from now, he'll be 36 and she'll be uh, 60 and he'll come back and look at her and be like, damn, I was tripping over her. I mean, like, think about that, bros. Have you ever done that before? Like, stop the show, bro. Like, there was this chick I used to date, man. I'm, I'm a caller name. Her name was Nikisha. Her name was Nikisha, right? Beautiful. When I was with her, man, I was, in, I was in high school. I used to be crazy about this girl, man. I was like, damn, man, she bad, right? As soon as high school got over, about six years, man, I seen her working at uh, either Target or Walmart. I saw her, bro, at the cashier. At, she, I'm, I'm sitting there looking with me and my mom. I'm like, that's what I used to be crying over? Her? I was tripping off of her? And now when I'm over here in, in Poland, I'm in Uganda now, I'm a thing now. How could I ever allow myself to be with somebody like that? You get what I'm saying? How did I ever do that? Now I'm mad at myself. And see, if I'm talking to this young guy, man, bro, it's more efficient to see. All you gotta do is keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna find somebody better looking than her without the problem, because the thing about it is, a lot of times you date somebody older than you, they, they bring their problems to the relationship. See, older people can't change for younger folk. You know, and when you're dealing with somebody that's that much older than you, you, you you're not gonna have enough game for them. A young man can't deal with an older woman, man. She's too sharp. Stop the show, unless you mean, because I don't play that shit. <laughs> you know, I, I know where to tell them what to do. But a lot of these young brothers, y'all can't be dealing with a woman that 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 old. You don't, it's 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 you don't have no experience with that. How are you gonna compete with that? And they know that. This is why they play y'all like this. And there's plenty of fish in the sea. Ain't that what the Marvelettes say? It's too many fish in the sea. Too many fish in the sea. You'll get over it. Like you hurt right now. Like it was a girl I loved. I, I was dating a girl in Johannesburg. Crazy about this girl. Like I, I was a little, like a little baby around her when I was out there with her boy. I was crazy about this girl, man. I, 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 man, listen, every time, every time I step down in Johannesburg, every time I hear South African house music right now, I'll be like, Ugh, I hate, I hate Johannesburg. But look, had she had to let her, had to let her go. Am I glad I learned, am I glad she gone? Yes. Yes. Too many problems. You can listen, man, it's too many women out here for you, player. Keep your head up. You got that one, you'll get another one. You can get another her. I can guarantee you she can't get another you. And stop listening to these people talking about, you know, you need to go back to her. Go back to what? All that turmoil, man. Get away from her, bro. God is doing you a favor. Wait a minute. God is doing you a favor, bro. You better not mess up. When God get rid of somebody for you, you better take your ass home. Going back to her for what? Let her go. Let her go. What you dealing with that mess for, man? You ain't got no time to be dealing with that. Real talk. So guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe at the bell. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Comment and all of that, guys. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. I really appreciate you. Uh, check out the, the Black Manosphere Awards poll. Check that out. And as you know, brothers, the buffoonery, it always remains at all time high. Check out the Black Man Purpose t-shirts. And we are out. Peace.